Hello there, my name is Brandon Jones. I'm the editor-in-chief of GameTrailers.com. I'm joined by Kyle Bossman. I love trailers. And Daniel Bloodworth. Hey. Uh -huh. We all love trailers, truth be told, and we are here to talk about trailers. I like Mortal Kombat, and I like the Predator, and they put them both together. Uh, we knew Predator was coming, but we actually finally got a little more uh, a little more of a themed story trailer than I was expecting, but we got some gameplay, finally, of the Predator. Uh, so let's chat about it. There's something out there. Kyle, you giggled when this trailer was over. You giggled with glee. They got it. Mortal Kombat trailers tend to nail tone. Well, I'm sorry. Sorry. They got it. Uh, Mortal Kombat trailers, they, they got their tone down. They know who they are. So do you think this is in line with the media that Mortal Kombat's been re releasing so far? Did this surprise you at all, the way that they announced this? The way they announced, like, Carl Weathers and uh, the whole package? Well, yeah, because, I mean, those were announced via screenshots and, you know, key art. But uh, this, I, I guess I am surprised they put this much effort into this trailer for a DLC character. Which, you know, I always like. I like if you put effort into your DLC trailers. Blood, the VO is potentially cheesy. What did you think of the yeah, VO? Yeah, the, <laughs> the, it, it was. It started off real weak for me. Uh, the, the the VO wasn't great, and then like when he walks onto the scene and he kind of does a little head shake, I'm just like, uh, you're not convincing me that you're like this awesome, frightening character. You're just like, hey guys, uh, I'm here. What's up? So I'm not familiar with Mortal Kombat lore. Who's the guy that comes out of the skeleton hands? Shinnok. So Shinnok, I've heard that name before. So he's, yeah, he's new for this one though, right? So do we no. think Shinnok he's actually says Predator there? Okay. Yes. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Cause it cuts away right before he actually says Predator. So we never see like, we can't lip sync him saying Predator. So I was like, that could have been a creative edit. No, yeah, they, um, they have a uh, personal greetings to each other, which I think is pretty cool. Oh, I also feel like the end, like what a missed opportunity with that skull. Just like pick a normal skull, like picks. Something that's got a different looking crazy skull, man. Put that skull in. What there. has a different looking crazy skull in? Goro Mokata. doesn't, doesn't he? Yeah, Goro's got a crazy Goro's skull. Goro's skull so Like a Goro great. skull? Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, Melina's skull is pretty cool. I like a lot of the beats in this trailer, but I don't necessarily dig the whole the way the whole trailer's put together. I think it's a, like a little bit sloppy. It kind of moves from like, that's why when the VO comes up, it seems weird. Like the, you know, the skeleton head at the end, like the skull at the end. Um, I don't know, it just doesn't really seem... Uh, well packaged together, like themed together. Like it seems like a lot of different. Uh, well, I also bits. at the beginning, like they're trying to sell this whole idea of like, you know, he's in the background, he's lurking, he's watching you, and he's. But, but it's like it's too fast paced at that point to like really get that sense that he's you know studying and lurking. So Kyle, yeah, for fatality videos are so hot on the internet. Everybody yeah. does them. Uh, you know, you go and you watch all the fatalities and you get everything all all at once. Should, I'm not saying they should release videos like that, but it's interesting that we just get like the tease of the fatality and they want you to experience that Love when you get that. into the game. Yeah. So you don't like that they spoil a lot of the stuff, because he doesn't have one fatality, he's got a bunch, right? So we, we actually see both his fatalities here. Uh, the skull is his other fatality. Oh, okay. And they even like they don't pan out because they want to save the rest. They're like teases of both fatalities. I, I like that they respect their fatalities in that way. Uh, they treat them like spoilers, and I, I, that's respect. I like that. So, so you've uh, you speak from experience. You've have you played with uh, no, no, no. Predator yet in Mortal Kombat? Uh, I've just seen the I've seen the fatality videos. Oh, okay. Uh, what do you think of? I mean, do you think this is a good way to sell? Like, you're big on expansions. Like, uh, you know, I, I really trust your opinion when it comes to just adding something to a game because a lot of times you talk about the trailer showing, you know, what you what's gonna what's gonna be new to the game, what you're really bringing, what Predator adds to this. You Make it feel like an well? event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think this does. I think the narrator is perfect. You know, I, I, this trailer uh, captures a theme of Predator, and I think that's pretty cool, uh, especially because this is the fourth one. It's funny it ends with who's next because I think no one is next. I think they're all done with DLC yeah. at this point. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I I love this. I love this trailer. Well, I want your score first, Kyle. Let's, I'm going to go with Kyle Bossman. You're not going to like this one. score. Uh-oh. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> this is, uh, yeah, if you're doing a, a trailer for a DLC character, they don't tend to get much better than this, I think. 7.4, Kyle. That's Ouch. as high as I'm willing to go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, I think, but it, it's not like a spiteful 7.4. Right. It's, I think they, I th it's just the amount of effort that was that was put into it, you know. Um, I think more effort was put into his inclusion in the actual game than the trailer that, that went to advertise for it. But, you know, anything above, 7 and above, still, still a pat on the back, well done. <laughs> Thank you, Bloodworth. Uh, I'm going to go with 6.9. Oof. Uh, That's not a pat on the back. <laughs> 6.9. That 1.1 1 .1 difference. 6.9 is a cold shoulder, you know. It's like, yeah. He was about to. He, he, Bloodworth went in for the handshake and then just pulled right in the last minute, like, eh, nah. Because I feel, I mean, like, in the opposition of Bosman, I feel like the tone is the thing that does get lost. Like, I think he did a really good job of showing off 
who the Predator is when you're playing as him. Great combos, great fatalities, but then like setting him up, the mood of the Predators is, is kind of lost. There's there's nothing for me to really fear here. 7.8, a considerable drop from your 9. Point oh, Kyle. But then again, you brought it up. Right. You know? Yeah, I don't consider it, it a drop at all. It wouldn't have been that high. And and just like, you know, it, it tends to be in trailer score. 7.8 seems oddly fortuitous, I think. Because you bring your fandom to it, you know? And like, that's yeah. it. That's what bumps it up is, is damn it, if it's Predator, uh, you know, what's not to love about it? No way. Show me a better character DLC for a fighting game trailer. Anything for Smash Brothers. Yeah. <laughs> Anything. <laughs> Any of the trailers. The Little Mac trailer is better than that. Touche, touche, so touche. <laughs> and not to take up the score we gave Little Mac back in the day, uh, but we'll probably wrap it up on that. Thank you, Kyle, for loving Mortal Kombat. Oh, thank and you. Predator. Thank you, Blood, for being sensible, and thank you guys for listening. We will see you next episode. <laughs>